Stephen, how big is this game on, on Saturday, both for the club, given that it's a, a big game knockout in the cup, but also for yourself? Yeah, it's a massive game. It's something that we've we've highlighted and done no illusions that we should be doing better just now. It's a chance for us to get away from the league. It'll be a difficult game, we know that. I watched them on Wednesday night. Um, they'll be full of confidence for coming through that tie and we need to be at our very best. We'll absolutely not be underestimating them at all. And you know We need to see improvement, especially on the, the last couple of performances we've put in. How difficult is it to, to judge what they're going to be like? Because obviously they're in the division below, but you're talking about going through the other night. I don't think they've lost the game since December as well, so they're used to winning games. How difficult is it for you, for you to judge yourself at, at, and what do you expect from them? Yeah, like I said, I was at the game on Wednesday. Um, I think there'll be change for that. I think they made a, a bit of change, a few changes, personnel, shape-wise. Um, so that could be different. But again, we will not be underestimating them. But again, it's about what we do and what we bring, and we'll be as prepared as we possibly can be. We've had a good few meetings this week. We've went into a lot of detail about um, about the game, and we'll be as prepared as we as we can be. Do you feel that this cup game? Brings more pressure than a league game, or less pressure is it a relief? Um, <coughs> I'm, I'm under, I've, I've been in the game long enough to know we should be doing better. I absolutely know that, and, and the consequences that come at the end of that, I not, absolutely know that. It's a big chance for us in the cup to progress into the quarter final. Um, we've had a, we've had a lot of problems along the way, but again, there'll be no excuses. We'll be as, as prepared as we can be to progress. We've made you know, made it clear this season that we want to do well in the cups. Um, and it's another chance for us to progress and, and build some momentum, much needed. Yeah, alternatively, can it give you that momentum? Can you take it back to the if you do win? Can you say, look, here's, here's a win. We, we, we can win games, we can turn our league form around. Do you think that can happen? Yeah, absolutely. What was your thoughts on the, the sign that appeared outside the club at the end of the beginning of the last week? Yeah, I've seen it. I've, I've no problem with it at all. Um, as I said, it's again, we're, we're going uh, to the game tomorrow. We're taking a large following, a large crowd. Um, the the travelling support that's came with us this season has been excellent and we're very grateful for it. And the support they've given us in these away games has been excellent. It's been something that's drove us forward and uh, hopefully that's that's the case again. And, and Saturday, their support means everything to us and it, it helps us massively. There's nothing wrong with the fans wanting a bit of passion and fight for their team. Um, I think it was probably in the back of the the St Johnston at home game here, um, which was miles and miles shot for anything that we want to be known as or a team that we want to be representing this club. But there was a lot of circumstances behind that with new signings and you know the amount of injuries we've picked up. But in terms of the the, the signing itself, absolutely no problem. Seems to be a general anger amongst supporters just the, the way things are going at the moment. What would be your message to them ahead of this one? Yeah, you know, we share that, we share that frustration, we, we, I know without repeating myself again, we want to be doing better, I know we need to be doing better, I absolutely get that, um, it's a chance for us to go and progress and bring a bit of positivity to, to the club, again it's not going to be hard, but that's the job and that's the task we're, we're facing this week. Looking at Alan Burgess being moving to, to Aberdeen, what's your, your take on that, your thoughts on that? Um, well, we knew Alan was leaving, it was no secret, it was announced that he was leaving, uh, it was a, a date given to that. Um, after that, out with that. I mean, it's out with my control what we what we do with that. I speak with the chairman regularly. Another uh, man who's got, you know, full everything he does. He wants the club to do well, and it's you know, I mean, I'll, I'll dialogue with the chairman every week, and the, the process to replace Alan is is well and truly underway. Can you still sense the belief and the confidence within the team to turn things around? Yes, I do. Absolutely, do. Even the, the players that we've brought in have highlighted it too, in terms of. Um, the mood and the belief and the quality that we've got ultimately um, is something we've got massively at the club. It's it's translating that, and that's been where the biggest frustration has been translating what we see every single day and the detail that we go and the, the levels we achieve and the quality we see in training. Translating that onto a match day, that's that's the, been the task, and that's that's kind of where the frustrations came from. Going into the cup game, obviously, this weekend, Gail, then it's a player. Is it different to, is it difficult to try and change your mindset from the league onto a different competition? Well, if, if there is, if the league form's not been where we wanted to be, then it's a chance for them to then focus on this and solely focus on the cup. It's a one off game. Uh, we want to do well, we want to progress in it, and the, you know, the success and the, the adulates and the, whatever the, the positivity that comes in the back of that might be much needed, but it's a one-off game. We need to come through it positively. And then, like you said, the momentum that comes in the back of that is is what we're aiming for, and that's that's the goal this week. Does it, you have to try and kind of ease the pressure on the players a wee bit. Is that maybe a, a symptom of 
Maybe the, the pressure is starting to get to the but that's that's life as a footballer as well. I mean, you need to take personal responsibility for your performance levels. Um, as I said, um, the information and the quality of training and coaching that they get during the week, um, and the, the the plans in place for the games is there. It's then them translating and living that, lifting their performance levels to a, a level that that will get us over the line on Saturday. I mean, I think that's that's fair enough to say that there isn't enough of them performing at the levels that they should be. I mean, even if you look at the bench against Aberdeen, there's a lot of players there that shouldn't probably be, be sitting on the bench, but that's a, a product of injuries and, and tactics, but also the performance levels individually needs to, needs to be better. We've spoke about that, the players should and, and do know that. Did that sign maybe hit, and Stuart was saying, maybe hit home, that, you know, the, that sign, is that, can that be a kind of a positive in the end? Was it maybe... Yeah, it shows that they care. It shows that we play as, as something we highlighted to the players early in the week. It's a fantastic club to play for. It really is. It's a, a passionate community club. It's well supported. Uh, the fans are passionate. That's and they want to see that on the pitch. And it was something that we, that, you know, it's, it's it was highlighted to the players. Um, and we used it as a positive. You know, the, the fans do and want to get behind us, but we also need to give them something to get behind. Obviously, obviously, a lot of injuries. Centre back seems to be a bit of an issue. Is there any light in the tunnel with injuries there? No, um, no. It's it's been frustrating, and the actual the actual numbers that we've got and the personnel that we've got is good, but the amount of injuries, especially in the certain positions, are something that we've I've never seen before in my time here. And it's all different injuries. It's something we've tried to do whatever we can to to prevent, but it's different and it, it's coming and it's fast and it's. You know, even for the weekend there, there's still another couple that could potentially be be missing out. So we're, you know, we're we're asking players to play out of position, or asking players that aren't quite ready to to go through, you know, play through that for us. Um, it's a frustration. It's a big party where we're at. It's there's no doubt about it. We've got we've got a lot of starting players, a lot of big big players for us in the physio room, and that's no making excuses. That's just where we're at. There'll be no by the time the games come. There's no excuses. But you know, I've never seen an injury less like it in in my time here. What is the situation with Dan Casey? Is he going to be pre-season or is he... Yeah, he's been training with us this week. He'll be a good player for us. He's, he's good for the group also. He's the type of character similar to Callum that we need. You know, players that come in and help the group, but a different, slightly different profile that we've already got. And they'll come in and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll be in that bracket of player that, yeah, we'll be pushing as much as we can probably. Um, doing a lot more than what we would have been doing with him because of the circumstances we faced just now.